Do you want me to show you how to get more Instagram followers without posting? Totally sounds clickbaity, but it's actually not. This is a strategy I use all the time. It's really easy. I'll do it when I'm like watching Netflix or things. And it's a really, really easy way to get a bunch of new followers literally overnight without having to post a ton of content. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We make three videos every single week showing all of our secret strategies, not just to get more followers on Instagram, but also make more money with your Instagram profile, if that's something you're interested in doing. All right, so I used to call this strategy, I've been teaching this strategy for years, and I used to call this strategy the love bomb strategy, because they're basically like bombing them with a bunch of love. But then I learned that love bomb is actually a term used in abusive situations where it's actually a form of manipulation. So I've got a description of what it means. Love bombing is characterized by excessive attention, admiration, and affection with a goal to make the recipient feel dependent and obligated to that person. So I didn't like that at all. I don't wanna be associated with that at all. So I've decided to rename it the love sprinkles, right? So I'm gonna talk about what the love sprinkles are and who we do love sprinkles to, but let's be real. Sprinkles are way better than bombs anyways. All right, so what do we do here? Three super, super simple steps. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up your Instagram and you're going to go to somebody in your industry, right, in your field, in your niche, who's well known. So for me, I'm just gonna go to, I really like Sunny Leonard Doozy. Um, she's a huge YouTuber, a lot of you probably know who she is. I really, really like her. So she's somebody who's well known in my industry. And so I'm sure a name popped up in your head, just go with that, don't overthink it. So then what I'm gonna do, this is step two, is I'm gonna check out her followers. Right? I'm gonna just check out our followers and I'm going to find somebody who looks like they would be a good fit to follow me. So you're looking for people who you would identify maybe as a potential ideal client or just somebody who would be good to follow you, the kind of people you're looking to follow your Instagram account. So I like this chick here. Now for privacy reasons, I don't feel comfortable doing, I don't have this chick's permission to like do this. So I'm actually just gonna show you what I would do to my sister Rose's account. Um, so you can kind of get a sense of what I would do. I would say don't overthink who you're doing this to, but make sure that they've got a public Instagram profile so that you can actually see their stuff. And then two, make sure that they follow a lot of people because if they don't follow a lot of people, they're probably not gonna follow you. So you wanna do it to people who look like, okay, this person would probably follow me. So then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start liking their posts. So this is where the love sprinkle comes in. We're gonna like their posts. I obviously like every one of her posts. I'm actually like liking them again. And then if they have a story, you're gonna to react to it. So I'm not sure that Rose has got a story up here right now, but if she had a story, I would react to it, leave some hearts, leave some fires, leave something like that. Now on this screen here, I'm gonna have Rose take a screenshot of what her notifications look like. We basically just dropped a bunch of sprinkles of love on her. And what that does is it gets you on that person's radar. So they're like, huh, who is this person? Then they'll go check you out. Step number three is literally just to rinse and repeat and do this as much as you can. I wanted 30 people to follow me. I would probably do this to 100 people. Like I said, it's super easy, it's super low effort, and it works really well, especially if you're doing this to people who are online to network, right? So for me, I work with female entrepreneurs. This works super, super well, because female entrepreneurs, they're looking to meet people online, they're looking to make friends. So it works really, really well. Some industries, it won't work as well, but for a lot of people, you'd be surprised at how open people are to just making friends online. So this works really, really well. Anytime I do this, I get like 50 to 100 new followers, overnight. It's super, super simple. So what's going to happen is you're also going to get really fast at doing this. Over time, it's, it's going to be a little slow at first, but as you get into the habit of it and you learn to spot, oh, these people will be really good to follow me, you're going to get a lot faster at it. So it's sort of like a, if I were to draw it out, it'd be like slower, slower, slower. And then there's like a ramp up phase and then you do it really, really quickly. So just keep that in mind too. You're going to be a little slow at first, but eventually you'll get really, really fast at it. And I almost do it habitually now as I'm watching Netflix in the evening or things like that. It's super simple. So I wanted to give you two tips to make this work better. The first thing that you should do is on your profile, you should make sure you optimize your Instagram bio so you look like somebody who's interesting to follow. So we have a video coming out really soon, which is essentially the template that you should be using for a really good Instagram bio. So be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss that Instagram bio video. That's gonna be a really good one. Second thing that's gonna be really important so you see best results for this is to make sure that you do this consistently over time for max results. You're gonna see so much better results from this if you do it for just 10 minutes every day versus a big chunk once and then not doing it again for a week and then a big chunk once and then not doing it again for a week. If you just do it really consistently 
over time, you're gonna get a bunch of new followers from it. And it's way easier to do than making a ton of content. So I highly recommend you do it consistently over time for max results. By the way, if you're watching this because you want to you know, get a bunch of new Instagram followers so you can make more money, I've totally got something that's going to help you with that. So if you're looking to sign clients and make more money online, you should totally come to this free workshop that I'm doing. On this free workshop, I'm actually going to give you a custom, I call it the Get Clients Now business game plan. It's going to show you where essentially you're leaving money on the table, opportunities that you could be having to make more money. It's a super amazing workshop. Everybody that's been going to it has been raving about it. They'll text me and say, I got two clients or I just made $5,000 by implementing what you said. So it's an awesome workshop. I'd love to see you there if you haven't been there already. If you want to save a free seat, go to mariawent.com slash workshop, or you can just click the link in the description. If you like this video, if you like the love sprinkle tactic and you're going to actually implement it, hit this like button and let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I'm super curious to know if this is interesting to you and it's something that you want more of. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos that I make on growing on Instagram and making money on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.